Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with diagrams for Microsoft Excel. I'm showing these things in Excel 2013, but most of the things apply also to earlier versions of Excel. First thing to take note of is where your cursor is at in Excel. If I insert a diagram here, see I'm on the Insert tab here, and I insert a chart, just do any chart here, like that one would be nice, you see that doesn't work because the, my cursor was not at the right place. I need to actually be in the data. And here's my data. It's a simple sales prognosis. If I just put my cursor in that sales prognosis data there and insert a chart again, you'll see that that works just fine and I get good data there. Now, if I want to be a bit more selective and just get some of the information, I can just select the range that I want like that and then do a chart there and there you see I get exactly the, the information I want that is quarter one. Now I have a graph here and you see it's displayed the months and the values that I selected. Now I can just go in and change this information say I had to do a 25 percent increase instead the numbers did change right away here. But let's do something more dramatic. So if I do a, a minus instead, minus 25%, you'll see that the information actually does change there too. As soon as I select another cell, it does change. Alright, so that's one way to illustrate information. And now this can be moved around and it can be size changed very easily like that. And you can also change the formatting on these things, the, par the different parts of your diagram. And again, it's very, very important what you select before you start making your changes. So if I click like that, then you see I have selected my entire series. But if I click again, now I've only selected January. So if I make a design change here on the Format tab, of course, I can do a Shape Fill, for example, and I can change that. Now it, that only applied to the January graph here, or the January column. Same thing if I go and select February, I can go in on the Format tab and uh, do another fill. One thing that's very popular is to put an image on there. And then I can select an image here and I have a nice little kitten there that I can use. And as you see that now illustrates the February column. If you have a more complex diagram, which of course you probably will have, you might want to put this chart on its own tab. And the way to do that is to go into the Design tab of the ribbon here and move the chart and I can put it on a new sheet and it will be named chart 3. Now you see I have a tab of its own for just the diagram here. Another way to use diagrams and to illustrate information is to use spark lines. As you see I have a bunch of information here which is kind of hard to overview, hard to find the relevant points in all this information. If I now create a diagram based on all this. I can of course do like I did before and insert a recommended chart. But you can see already in the recommendation preview here that some of these don't really work. This one works okay really. This one might work if for some people but uh, it's a bit too much information to actually get a good overview of it. So I would recommend you instead do this thing. You insert a spark line here. Simply put your cursor in the end column here and insert a spark line and then you select the data range for that information and it's gonna in the cell N2 it's gonna show information from uh, January to December for Kalle. I'm gonna click OK and there you see now I have a chart for Kalle which gives a very good overview of his performance during the year. So he had a really low dip here in the beginning of the year, but at the end of the year he was on a positive trend. Now we can just fill that, fill that down all the, all the way, and you see I get a similar trend for each and every person there. So I think that uh, way of displaying information is um, very useful. Now when I have the sparkline selected, I get the sparkline tools in my ribbon, and here I can add useful things like high point and low point, and I can of course change some colors and stuff too. But uh, I think this is a useful tool when doing diagrams too. Thank you for watching this demonstration.